Newts are a very derived subfamily of salamander in the class Amphibia. Despite their appearance, they are not lizards and are more closely related to frogs than they are any reptile. At first glance, there's not a whole lot of difference between newts and other salamanders. But, typically, newts have drier, rougher skin, whereas salamander skin is usually wet and soft. Newt's larvae also possess true teeth in both their jaws, and their regenerative capability tends to be more extreme than that of other salamanders. The Japanese fire-bellied newt is even capable of regenerating its own islanders multiple times throughout its 16-year lifespan. The first newts appear in the fossil record during the late Cretaceous period, likely living their lives in ponds and small bodies of water under the shadows of the dinosaurs. There are roughly 100 species of newt found throughout the world today, they can be found around a large portion of the world. From North America to Europe, and North Africa to Asia, including the Middle East. Some species, like the smooth newt, are actually an invasive species in Australia, though their direct impacts there are uncertain at this point. Many species of newts produce poisons in their skin as a form of protection from predators. Some, like the rough-skinned newts, create enough tetrodotoxin to kill an adult human being. Though, these toxins are only really a problem if ingested and cannot be absorbed topically. Unluckily for some, certain snakes like garters have developed a resistance to the poison. For part of the year, newts live an aquatic life in stagnant ponds and other bodies of water, though some deviate and can live in slow rivers and streams. Most of the year, newts are terrestrial and spend most of their time foraging in the humid undergrowth, under rocks, logs, moss, leaf litter, and soft earth. Like frogs and other amphibians, newts undergo metamorphosis, starting their lives in water as an egg, then as a tadpole-like larva, though this is where it differs from frogs. These larvae grow their forelimbs first, and then their hind, increasing in size before transitioning to their terrestrial form. This terrestrial form is known as an eft. Another thing that sets them apart from frog tadpoles Newts are born carnivores, and remain so their entire lives. While young larvae will consume a number of aquatic invertebrates such as daphnia, mosquito larvae, and worms, the terrestrial adults will consume any small animal they can catch and swallow whole. Though they mainly feed on slow-moving mollusks such as slugs, and abundantly available isopods such as woodlice. While predators, they themselves are prey to a plethora of species, including the aforementioned snakes. Young tend to thrive in places devoid of predatory fish, though even in places without fish they must be cautious of their own parents and other adults, as cannibalism is quite common. While adults need to be cautious of just about anything bigger than they are, unless of course they are lucky enough to be packing poison. In the United Kingdom we have three native species, the palmate and smooth newt, which both belong to the genus Lysotriton, and the great crested newt, belonging to the genus Tritorus, which is unfortunately threatened by habitat loss. Sadly, this is a common theme around the world. Many newts and other amphibians are under threat from human expansion and pollution, the Yunnan Lake Newt of China being the most recent species to have gone extinct as of 2004, declared by the IUCN Red List, a victim of humanity's negligence. Though there are ways we can still help the species we have, Many gardeners across the UK have opted to create natural ponds, filled with native plants that encourage wildlife to thrive in the area. If you're interested, follow the link in the description for further information and a guide on how to get started. Even if you live outside the UK, much of the information will still apply to you, though always be sure to do your research before you act. That's all for now. I hope you found this video insightful, entertaining, and hopefully it will encourage you to get out and involved with nature. Thanks for watching, and remember, in a world this big, there's always something more to see.